Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the properties of rectangle. So before I start my discuss some topic natin today, um, I would like to say shout out kay Eric D. Bagsip. Again, shout out sa iyo, Eric, is sa mga follower natin sa Facebook at sa ating YouTube channel. So again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So before we start discussing the different properties of rectangle, we define muna natin what is a rectangle. So basically guys, uh, in our elementary days, meron tayong ibang definition of rectangle. But here, sa ating grade 9 discussions or sa certain topics ng grade 9, ang definition na kailangan natin tandaan about rectangle is simply a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Again, rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So I have here a given bit, a given figure. So basically, this one is a rectangle. So rectangle yung topic natin. So ngayon, paano ba tayo bibigay ng pangalan sa isang rectangle? Basically, you can use the word rectangle. So rectangle... And then using the different letters uh, representing the corners or the vertices, rectangle W, I, N, S, or rectangle wins. Or in other version of men, we can name this rectangle using a small figure of, of rectangle like this one. I hope nakita niyo pa rin ako. Rectangle W, I, N, S. Okay, so basically guys, sabi dito, Let's move on with the properties. Since yung ating rectangle is an example of a parallelogram, yung mga properties ng parallelogram ay na-adapt niya. First one is that it has parallel sides. So dito, yung ating parallel sides are the sides WI and side SM. Okay? Kasi yung sa rectangle, yung sa yung parallelogram, di ba? Opposite sides are parallel. At the same time, another pair of parallel sides are side WS and side IN. Okay? By definition of parallelogram. Another part or another property is that we have opposite sides are congruent. So, alam naman natin kahit nung sa elementary, elementary days, during sa discussion ng ating math teacher, alam natin that the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So, sige, para mas ma-visualize natin, let's say, for example, your WN is, WI measures 6 units or 6 centimeters. Gamit tayo ng isang ano, unit of measurement. Ibig sabihin yan, given this property, your side SN, since they are opposite to each other, 6 centimeters din to. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple yung property number, a uh, proper itong property na ito na opposite sides are congruent. And sir, how about the other sides? Let's say your IN measures 4 centimeters. How about the other, sir? This one, since they are opposite to each other, this side, WS, also measures 4 centimeters. Ganun lang kasimple yung property na yan. Okay? So let's move on with the next property. Okay, so natin ito. For the next property, um, opposite angles are congruent. So, later on, I will reveal kung ano yung pinakamagandang ano dito. Opposite angles are congruent. Ah, siya ka, siyempre. Sabihin ko na ngayon. So, sabihin ko na. Opposite angles are congruent. By definition, sabi ko kanina, um, rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Since lahat ito ay right angles, nagyan natin ng box para malaman, matandaan natin that this angles are all right angles. Since right angles nila, lahat ng measurement na yan is 90 degrees, equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, opposite angles are congruent. Or lahat ng angles niya, in other words, are congruent. This is 90, 90, 90, and 90. And definition natin, natin ito sa opposite angles are congruent. Next, Munta naman natin yung consecutive angles are supplementary. Obviously, lahat na magkasunod na angles are supplementary. Kasi 90, 90, 90 plus 90, 180, 90 plus 90, 180. And kahit pa ikot-ikotin mo yan, lahat din ay 90 degrees. Lahat din ay 180 degrees kapag inag natin. 
And next natin, um, diagonals bisect each other. So let's say for example, I will draw a diagonal WN and diagonal SI. Sabi dito, the diagonals bisect each other. Ibig sabihin yan, um, since nagkaroon ng intersection yung dalawang diagonals, hinahati nila yung isa't isa sa in the two equal parts. So if this is 5, this one is also 5. Okay? So ganun lang simple yun. Yung ating diagonals bisect each other. And let's move on with the next property. Ano yung huling property? The diagonals are congruent. Again, the diagonals are congruent. Given this property, we can declare or we can write an, a congruency statement like this one. We can say that diagonal WI is congruent to diagonal SI. Yes, sir. Um, hindi pa namin masyado maintindihan what is meant by property number 2. So, okay, I will give you an example. Since WI is congruent to SI or diagonal SWI is congruent to SI, pag sinabi natin WI is equivalent to 10 units, syempre yung SI natin is also equivalent to 10 units. Yun yung mismong konsepto ng property number 2. So I hope na yung mga properties natin ay clear sa inyo and I have here a set of problems na sasagutan natin para mas lalo natin maintindihan ng mas malalim yung rectangle at yung different properties ng rectangle. So, consider rectangle WINS. First question, let's say, if WI is equal 13, what is SN? So, WI is a side of this rectangle. So, your SN is opposite to your rectangle, to the WI. Diba? By property, silang dalawa ay kongruent. So, SN is equal to 13 also. Next. Okay. So, for number 2, if WN, okay, we're talking about the diagonal, WN, the diagonal, WN, is equal to 15, what is SI or IS? So, by definition, diagonals are congruent. Your IS, or diagonal IS, is equal to 15 units. Next, for letter number 3, if WA, or is WA? Okay, kung natin WA dito, I think this is the intersection nila. Yung dalawang diagonals natin. If WA is equal to 5, sabi nung ito ay 5. What is AN? Gano'n daw kahaba itong AN natin, itong AN na to. So, Alam natin na the diagonals bisect each other, meaning this WA is congruent or equal to your AN. So AN is equal to 5. Okay? Lastly, for number 4, what is the measure of angle WIN? Angle WIN. So ilocate muna natin where is WIN. Your WIN is here. W, I, N. And by definition, and by the property, we know that the measurement of W, I, N is equivalent to 90 degrees. That's all for the properties of rectangle. So if you have any question about our topic today, when you can comment down sa ating comment section. And if you want to request some topic na gusto niyo pag-aralan natin within our channel, you can comment down below para makita ko ano yung mga kailangan yung videos. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.